When you open your iCommand packaging, the items that you're going to find inside are the iCommand unit itself, an AC power adapter, a draft door cover, an ambient temperature probe, a meat temperature probe, a replacement draft door, a pit probe holder, and a printed instruction guide. The first step in installing the iCommand on your grill is to replace the existing draft door with the replacement draft door. In order to do that, we need to remove these two screws. And to do that, you'll need a Phillips head screwdriver. And on the inside of the grill behind the firebox, there are a couple of eight millimeter nuts that need to be removed also. With those nuts removed, the old draft door will slide out and the new draft door will slide in in its place. And then we will replace those screws and nuts. Once you install the I command on your draft door and connect the power to the unit, if you want to use this thing without any Wi-Fi control to start your fire, all you have to do is press the button here to start the stoke mode. You can hear the fan come on and once that starts, the fan will run at full speed for 10 minutes to get your fire started or until you press the button again. In our next video, I'm going to show you the setup process and how to get your grill going with the I command.